Hello there and welcome back to the new video. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent these days. So yeah, here we are. Also, I'm loving this wallpaper. By the way, I just changed it. Anyways, so the topic for today is improper input validation and how it leads to security bypasses. So I'm going to show you a live demonstration along with I'll tell you some scenarios of how you can test for these vulnerabilities. Also, I'll tell you a few bypasses as well. But let's look at this specific bypass first. Okay, so for demonstration, I have OS G Shop here. And let me go to About Us. And here we can see some terms and condition URL. Okay, here we are. So as you can see, this is serving a file legal.md. MD is markdown file and it's serving it under the f2p directory okay so whenever you see something like this try to remove the file in the end and check if directory listing is enabled or if there is any file that is sensitive and is public like in this case there are multiple files here but even though it's public doesn't mean you can access it right let's open up this file because this is coupons and it looks pretty interesting to me but it says 403 error means you are forbidden and not allowed to see it probably only admins are allowed to see it you can see it says only dot markdown and pdf files are allowed but this file is a backup file dot bak and not just one there are multiple like uh, gg file so you won't be able to see this as well along with yaml file and uh, this one as well and other backup files as well so we're not allowed to see that but we want to test it so we want to find some way of bypassing this let's open up this file because i'm interested in this one in this case you can do multiple things that is you can try different extensions uh, like double extensions or you can test response manipulation where you change the HTTP code from 403 to 200 by capturing the response and burp and see if you can download the file because I have found this bug but it was a dupe anyways but yeah it works but in this case we are going to test for null byte so Person 00 is a null byte that you can use to bypass security controls. But in this case, I'm going to use the URL encoder form of null byte. That is percent 2500. So, as you can see, after the extensions, I typed this encoded null byte value. And then I'm going to type the extension that the application is expecting or checking for, which means that. The ones that are allowed like .md or .pdf so .md is allowed that's why i'm going to type .md here and notice like just before the extension there is this null byte okay i'm going to hit enter and as you can see i can save the file now and you can see it's downloaded and if i open it you can see coupon codes here means it is working cool now using this bypass i think we can likely try this here as well like let's try on this one okay so in this case again let's try percent 2500.md and yeah again we can download it great this is working now you must be wondering why it's working. It's because of the naive check. The website checks and sees the whole name, I mean the file name, and thinks it ends with .pdf or .md because the file was indeed ending with .md in last case, but because of the null byte, you were able to bypass it. Why? Because when the system tries to open the file and it sees the null byte, it interpret it as period because it means stop here actually you know what let me open notepad let me explain you this in notepad because i cannot explain like without visual we have coupons and not md 
let's just take it as coupons.bak for simplicity okay and the application is not allowing you to download this because it's a backup file only md is allowed but what you did you added null byte here and then you added the extension that is allowed which is md now the application sees this and it thinks okay there is md extension let it go but when the system tries to open this file it starts reading and it sees this now the system interpret this as a stop means end here that's all that's the whole file name there is nothing after this because because the low level code interpret null byte as stop here yeah that's the most simplest way you can say it like a period like stop right over there and because the system is not seeing any of this it lets you download this which is the actual file which you shouldn't be able to download isn't that crazy hoping it makes sense now and i told you that i'll show you some more bypasses as well so um, i'm going to show you some sources because i just cannot speak everything right but yeah here we have some file upload general methodology this is how you can check of course there are multiple tools for that that can do this um, hard work for you but yeah so these are the one that we are more interested in as you can see we have the null byte here but the one we used were encoded so it was a bit different but you can use some other type of extensions as well like in this manner and you can use hash or like this it says here try to bypass the protection tricking the extension parser wait we have hack tricks ai as well what the heck okay off the server side of it techniques like doubling the extension or adding junk data like null bytes between extension sometimes you can double url encode that null byte as well and it might work so yep you can definitely check this one out and i think both sugar also have some file upload labs in which they have shown like multiple ways you can bypass security control to upload files so that will help you here as well because in this scenario we were supposed to download file but to download file we were supposed to bypass the file extension right but in case of uploading you have to bypass file extension as well because sometimes the server doesn't allow you to upload specific files so learning these things like how you can bypass these extensions or files can help you in both scenario i hope you learned something from this and it makes things clear for you hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much for watching by the way i noticed we got 14,000 subscribers today and i'm hoping we'll get 15k soon so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one